Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day as always. And first and foremost, thank you for all of the support over the last few videos, especially yesterday's videos. It was my first live commentary. You guys uh, love the feedback on that, man. I really, really was glad that it went better than I expected because I didn't feel like it was the best of videos, but you guys uh, supported it and I do appreciate it. But with all of that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video and talk about some trading because you guys had quite a few questions on Twitter and I wrote them all down. That's why I'll be looking down quite a bit. I wrote them all down, but I also want to share with you guys a great trading method um, that's been working for me tremendously well. And it's perfect for those of you guys with a low coin total. And you guys are going to see as I'm talking, uh, it's not going to be live trading because... It was. A, it's going to be too long of a video because when I do my trading sessions, they usually take almost an hour or so long, and I don't want an hour-long video. No one's going to want to watch an hour-long video. So that's why um, I record it first, and I cut it up, and then you guys will see it as I'm talking over it. So first thing, um, we're going to go ahead over the new trading method that I've been using. I shouldn't say it's a new new trading method because it's technically something everyone can do. But the reason why this has been working so well, and I'll let you guys know what it is, is I've been trading specifically with non-rare gold right mids in the BPL. Now, the reason why I thought of doing this is because I've been playing the game quite a bit. It's probably one of my favorite FIFAs. I haven't played FIFA at the start this much in a long time. Probably not since FIFA 13, I would say. Didn't enjoy FIFA 14. Um... And I really didn't like FIFA 15. I, I hated that it was all about pace. And you guys know I'm not a pace guy. I always liked the slow build-up play. So that's why FIFA 16, I've really been enjoying it. And I've been coming up against a lot of people who use the 4-1-2-1-2, especially in the BPL. But here's the thing. The BPL doesn't have that many right mids available that are at least somewhat decently affordable that are non-gold rares. And, and right now, it's perfect to trade with those because people are still building their starter teams. And when they're building that 4 one 2 one 2 since everybody seems to be liking that formation, especially when they build a BPL team, they're stuck within a few players here and there to go ahead and trade with. So I actually wrote down the players I've been trading with. I'll tell you guys. Valencia is one of them that I've been trading with. Really, really easy to get bids on him and win him. Uh, Joel Campbell is another one. He's going for about 1,900 coins. You can even pick them up for about 1,700 by now and then relist it for 2,000. Remember, the EA tax is only 5%. So even if you pick up Campbell for 1,900 coins, 5% of that is only, what, 9 95 coins. So you can... You can sell him, or I'm sorry, if you pick him up for 1700 you only get 5% tax on that, and you can sell him for 1900 and still make a profit. So I know it's a very minor profit, but if you do it over and over and over and over and over, guess what? It adds up pretty quickly. It adds up quicker than you think as well. Don't think just because you make 100 coins profit on one player, it means, oh, that's nothing. What is that going to make me? If you do that 10, 20 times, it adds up. So, um... Keep that in mind. Don't don't shy away from the 100 and 200 coin profits. They're really good. So Joel Campbell's really good. Valencia, I mentioned. There's a non-rare non gold right mid um, that's French in the BPL. His name is Thalvin, I believe. I've, I've never seen him play. I've never heard of the guy, to be honest with you guys. But And uh, he's going for around a few hundred to a thousand coins. And he sells from anywhere from 1,500 coins all the way up to about 4,000 coins. So that's a great little method for you guys to put in your back pocket and make sure you incorporate it in all your trading methods because it is really, really good. And I'm sure you can do this with a lot of other leagues. I haven't tested it with maybe the Serie A uh, as far as left mids goes because I know they're struggling in left mids in that league. So try it out with the BPL. It really works well. I'm telling you, it's a great method if you don't have a large coin total. You can probably get away uh, with doing this method with about 20,000 coins or so. The next thing I want to talk about is the investments that we've made. So if you were at a decent coin total in Team of the Week 1 and you had the game with early access and you were building up your coin total, um, Inform Payet was going for around fifty to 65000 at one point and you may or may have not invested in him. I made a video telling you guys to go ahead and do so. For those of you guys who did and had that coin total, he's gone up quite a bit. He's going for about 120000 by it now. You can sell him off now if you'd like, but there's no reason to because he's not going to get a second inform anytime soon since he's going to have to outperform his first inform, um, which 
who knows? He may or may not do, but I don't see it happening within the next few weeks. So you can probably hold on to it and then end up selling it for even more. If you don't want to be a little bit greedy, uh, you can go ahead and sell it off and walk away with 60,000 coins profit. Same with Inform Guarine. You guys have seen his price skyrocket quite a bit as well. Those players are going to be super rare and... It might be uh, it might be possible that EA raises the price range on them, and you guys can really really bank out on their cards. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to hold out, you absolutely can hold out, but don't feel like you need to. Go ahead and sell if you want. A couple of you guys asked uh, if you what you should do. Should you inform? Should you invest in any of the new informs like Inform Baco or Inform uh, Zuma? To be honest with you guys, I wouldn't in, I wouldn't invest in Inform Zuma only because there are a lot of good center back options in the BPL, and there's going to be other options that are going to be an Inform that people are going to want more than him. So I wouldn't invest in him. If you have him already, I would sell him. I think his price went up a little bit. I wouldn't keep him. I don't think he's going to go up. But that's just my personal opinion. There's also um, a lot of you guys want Baca. He may go up, but I. That two-star skills, man, I shy away from him quite a bit. I shy away from him. I don't use him personally. Other people might use him. He is a good option in the City Eye as far as strikers goes. So, you know, it, it, it's up to you guys. I feel like his price won't go up that much, but it's a, it's a possibility because he does have really, really nice stats. He's got awesome stats for a striker. Just that two-star skills, I'm not sure if people are, are going to be like, eh, I don't know if I want to go with him. So... It's your call on that. I don't think it would be a bad decision either way you go. Um, but I think, uh, in my opinion, if you have him, I would also sell him off. I don't think he's going to be raising uh, anywhere in price anytime soon. Uh, another question you guys had was, let me see here, what, ti what time is the best time to trade? I'm in the U.S., so it's a little bit different for me. Only because when I get to trade, a lot of the people who are trading in the UK are sleeping. So it's a little bit easier to pick up deals. I will admit that. So for those of you guys who end up having trouble picking up players, I can understand why. Because I trade when the market is not really that saturated. You guys are probably trading when everybody's on UT and doing trading. So if you can, uh, try to stay off during the peak hours and trade during your morning or during your nighttime, depending on where you live. Because your peak hour is going to be at different times depending where you live. So... Uh, keep that in mind as well. Is when you do trading, don't do it during the peak hours. It's really, really hard. It's going to be frustrating for you. You're not going to get those deals that you're looking for, and I highly recommend you avoid it. So there's that question answered. Um, I don't know what other questions you guys asked, actually. Those are the main things that people were asking. I think if, if you guys were asking, oh, another one was if you should sell all your little investments and buy a more expensive player. So those of you who have like a bunch of 20, 30K players, you were asking, should we sell them off and buy someone like Neymar or Bale? I wouldn't do that because even though those players are going up a little bit, like the Bales of the world, the Neymars, they're going up a little bit at, at a time, but they're not skyrocketing. Like, for example, Neymar was going for around 300,000. He's jumped up to around 380 or 400,000 coins. He may go up a little bit, but remember, his price cap is at 600,000 coins. So it's a risk if you want to go ahead and do that. If you really want to go ahead and invest, I would personally invest in maybe a legend. There are some of them you can pick up at around two, 300,000 coins. And I know this is for those of you guys with a lot more coins. So we've covered a lot of things in this video. We've covered what to do if you don't have a large coin total with the right mid trick. And I'm telling you, it is such a good trading method. You guys will love it if you try it. I'm telling you, it's an awesome, awesome trade, trading method. Um, we've covered inform investing. So that should help out those with like, with like a 50 to 100,000 coin total and i know there's some of you out there with four or five hundred thousand coins from opening packs and you want to know what to do how to invest in them or how to invest your coins and like i said i would go ahead and look at legends very very good way to go ahead and trade this year since there's not a lot of them on the market and uh, it's a perfect time where you can put one up and someone will end up buying it for whatever price you put it at it's something that i used to use quite a bit in the previous fifas so with that said, guys, I hope um, I was able to give you guys some useful hints and, and, and tricks that you guys can use. Um, I'll, in the background, you guys have probably seen me use that right mid method. It's really, really good. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the trading video today, guys. So if you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And we'll probably go back to the race to Division 1 tomorrow. And with that said, guys, I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're not subbed to the channel... Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? Catch you guys tomorrow.